This is Mark Fell from Supertraining.tv, just gnawing down some sushi and answering some questions for the Power Project. Nothing worse than watching a fat guy eat and get fatter, but I'm going to make you all do it anyway. I got a question from Ido, I think that was his name, off of YouTube, asking a question about the difference between when he box squats versus a free squat. And he feels a lot stronger when he does a box squat. Feels like he has better form when he does his box squat. And um, his form is jacked up. <clears throat> his technique is a lot different when he does regular squat. A very common problem to have. Seen it with many athletes. Um, what you need to remember is that you want to try to keep the squat similar, but you also need to fully understand that the shin angle. The shin angle is going to be quite a bit different when you do a regular squat versus a box squat. Also, your depth is going to come into play. If you are used to doing a oldie squat, I still have sushi all over me, isn't that gross? If you're used to doing an oldie squat where you kind of dive bomb and rebound off your own body, even if you don't dive down there, if you just kind of rebound off your own body, um, a box squat is going to be so much different to you. Um, and also, a lot of times when you do those oldie squats, uh, you are getting uh, sometimes two to three inches below parallel, whereas when you do a box squat, it's the same height all the time, or at least it should be a similar height all the time. It's either at parallel or slightly below parallel. So that could be uh, a reason for the, the uh, reduced weight that you're handling in your regular squat versus your uh, box squat. So make sure that you're squatting to a similar depth so you have something to uh, compare it to that makes sense. Um, the other thing is, a lot of times people's uh, form on their box squats is off in a way that will not allow them to transfer their strength over. Make sure that you are sitting back into your squats. Make sure that you're bringing your upper body back with your lower body. Your chest should be over your quads as you get to the box and it should remain there. Um, you don't need to rock back so far that your chest becomes even with where your hips are. And you don't need to lean so far forward that your chest is in line with your knees. These are very common things that I see in a box squat. You want to sit, rock back slightly, rock back slightly. I hesitate to even use the word rock because it causes a lot of confusion. But there's going to be a little bit of a rock in there. And you're going to arch up and you're going to come back up from the box squat. When you do your regular squat, it's going to be similar, except for you're not going to be making contact. There'll be no collision with a box, um, but you want your form to be similar. You want to lock everything down with that upper back and that mid-back. You want to flex your ass real hard, and you want to try to dictate and uh, initiate that lift with the hips. You want to turn it more into a hip movement than anything else. Um, so while you are going to sit back in a regular squat, you're not going to be able to sit back quite as far. The form will be a little bit different, but you just need to realize that the form between the two is going to be a little bit different. And if you're better at a box squat than you are a free squat, maybe you should work on your free squats a little bit more until that strength comes up, until that technique comes up. But really check your technique. You've got to check yourself before you wreck yourself, as a famous rapper once said. Um, that's going to be the key factor in all of this. Your form's got to be locked down. Your form's got to be good. It's imperative that your form is on target. And uh, if it's not, then everything else will suffer. The box squat won't equate as well over to the uh, regular squat. So I know that probably wasn't the answer you're looking for, but hopefully that'll help you out. Uh, one last tip on your regular squats, pause in the bottom. Do it for a month. Pause at the bottom of your squats for a good two to three Mississippi and come back out of the hole. It'll be very humbling and very demoralizing at the weights that you'll be able to handle, but you'll be a better person for it, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. And that's it from supertraining.tv. I'm out.